Welcome back to Black News Tonight. It's time to check out news from across the diaspora. The UN Human Rights Council has ordered Britain to pay compensation to two Kenyan tribes that were forced off of their land from the 1920s and beyond. In addition, the UN has stated that the UK should make a public apology. In a letter to UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, the UN says Britain should pay reparations to Kipsigis and Talai people who were removed from native land, which lies in a major tea region. The UN says Britain participated in, quote, gross human rights violations. African-made COVID-19 vaccines have begun to be distributed in the continent. A manufacturing facility in South Africa began shipping out its first doses of COVID-19 vaccines recently. Internationally, there have been more than 4 billion COVID-19 vaccines distributed, but less than 2% of those vaccines have made their way to Africa. As of last week, the World Health Organization's Director General reported that just 1.5% of Africans on the continent have been fully vaccinated. Black women from two parts of Latin America are making history at the Tokyo Olympics. The two Afro-Latinas were the first from their respective homelands to win top honors in their sports. Jasmine Camacho Quinn was number one in the women's 100 meter hurdle on Monday, earning the first ever gold medal in track and field for Puerto Rico. According to IOC rules, Puerto Rico has its own Olympic team, allowing athletes from the island to compete independently from the United States. Meanwhile, Rebecca Andrade took home the first ever gold medal in women's gymnastics for Brazil. The world's largest black population outside of Africa exists in Brazil, of course. Andrade, who comes from a family of eight children, overcame multiple surgeries to go gold in the women's vault and silver in the artistic all around. 